Recently, I released a highlighter tool that you can use to highlight any text on the page, but it's a single line highlighter tool. So I decided to make a multi-line version of it. Bring in just a footage, just put play here done in something like this. Click on it. Let's open inspector here. Let's zoom it in so it fills the whole screen. We don't have to do all this. I just want us to be able to see what I'm working with. So we can go to effects. So the new highlighter tool, you can open effects under effects. You just go down, you see highlighter version two, drop that on there. And then we have this, close effects. Clicking on this, you can go to effects on the inspector. You'll see a bunch of options now. Let me just collapse all of them so we can treat them one at a time. Now the first option, main controls, determines the position of the first line. So I can move it, the X value here. I can move it up and down. I can change the angle if I wish, like so. Then, um, then I can also increase the width. Now under common controls, these two controls here affect if you have multiple lines, it increases the height across both. So I'm going to increase the height of this to cover just this line. Let's position it perfectly. I should reduce the height just a little bit. Something like that. I'll move this back here and we're done with a single line tool, which was what I had before. Just play it back and you see we have this going. Good stuff. Now that's that for this control here. Let's collapse that. Then mask tuning, you can tune it. So the tool is based on the contrast of the text against the background. You can tune this based on the image you want to highlight, but typically 0 0.5 just works. And we move on to multi-line controls, which is where this one is different from the other one. Now, for, you can make it a single line. If I click on two lines, another line shows up. And for each of the lines, if I expand this line now, you will see that I can move it. I can move it up. I can move it anywhere. And it will highlight the text accordingly. I can change the angle too. I will click to reset that. I can reduce the width. So we can highlight just musicians. If we go back here and play it, they all I mean animating together. Which is cool. Great. Then we can, and that goes for all the other lines too, if you enable them here. If you now go to animation controls, you will see that the animation length is set to half. It means that it will stop animating at the middle point of the length of this footage here. So you can reduce this or increase it. If I reduce this and I play it back, see it stops here and we're done here. That's what anim length is for. Then there's interval. You know, we have two lines here and they all animate in at the same time. If I want there to be a bit of space in between them, I can increase this interval a little bit. And let's play it back and we see what, how that works. See that one? So it does, they don't animate in together, they animate in sequence. So you can increase that to increase the spacing in between the animation for the two lines or as many lines as you want. In this particular case, I've capped it at five lines. And you can change the anim curves. Now go to con color controls. Right now, I'll set it to be the same color for both lines. If I want it to be a different color for the musicians, I'll say different color. You see that changes. So I can go to line two. By default, line one is set to the red and um, yellow. But if you go to line two, you see it's white and black. I can decide to change this color to, let's change it to purple. And change the back to red something like so let's make it more contrasty let's make it yellow yellow like so it doesn't look so cool but you get the drift right so that's basically it guys we can adjust the color for the five different lines and that's the highlighter tool 
you can use it to create whatever it is you need to create i added the angle bit just to sometimes you want to highlight something that's not exactly straight slanted um have fun with it you can download this in the description if you have any suggestions as to some things you want to create in fusion and you want me to explore creating a tool for if i can i will because I'm also learning myself and I'm open to suggestions from you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one and enjoy.